and it's aligning itself on the modern church, which aligned itself on the modern world. And therefore, the, the SSPX is going through Vatican IIb, exactly like the Catholic Church in the 1950s. That, I nearly said, damn. But I know it's a swear word, so I can't say it. But it's what I mean. That blank, blank Catholicism of the 1950s. I call it 50s. It was rotten. And the proof is what happened in the 60s. Not everything in it was wrong, but it was by no means what it was by no means what the Catholic religion should be, and Catholics in the 1950s were not what Catholics should be. And the proof is the collapse of the 1960s. If the society is now collapsing, that is the proof that we of the society were not what we should be. Slash are not what we should be. We are not anything like serious. About our faith, about heaven, hell, God, eternity, death, damnation, sin. It's the it's the exercises of St. Ignatius, which were the great antidote for Protestantism those years ago, and which have served magnificently the church ever since, which were a sharp instrument in the hands of the society in its early days, and which now is turning blunt. Why? Because the exercises are being made sap. Oh, we don't want to talk about hell. Hell isn't nice. My dear friends, imagine the Long Island Sound, swamp in Connecticut, and you have an idea of what's happening to the church and now also to the the society stood up to the modern world and to the modern church for a good 40 years, 1970 to 2010. That's, but the, 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 the worm was in the bud long before 2010. It's now working itself out. It's, it's got to the top of the society. It's taken over the top of the society. And from now, now the society is being poisoned from the top downwards. And we deserve it. It's a just function from God on sappy trad cats, sappy traditional Catholics. If you want to think of what it should be, think of those martyrs of the early church. Maybe they didn't learn a catechism, maybe they didn't, they surely didn't have a printed catechism in their hands, but they took care, to, they knew the essentials, and then when it came to down to the wild, they were ready to go down the throats of lions go out into that arena and have the lions come up and smash them with a, a blow of the paw and then sink their sharp teeth. Some of them didn't die immediately. They were dragged back half dead into the, 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 the back, back of the, the, the cells of the arena. Maybe to be thrown to the lions a second time or to die in those days of gangrene. I don't know. Pretty unpleasant. What gives you and me the right to think that we can be Catholics without things being unpleasant? But if things were unpleasant, at least a number of us, and I hope a large majority of yourselves, a large number of us would, would come to our Catholic senses and start getting serious once more. The situation, my dear friends, is extremely serious. The modern world is going mad day by day. Some of you that are parents, you wonder how on earth you're going to be able to protect your children with these wretched schools, and tomorrow or the day after you won't be able to, to entrust them to the SSPX schools. If the SSPX keeps on going the way it's going, you won't be able to trust the SSPX schools any more than you can now trust the Catholic schools. How on earth are you going to keep the faith? Well, the rosary, the one single answer that, if I'm asked, is there one answer, I would say the rosary. The rosary has a great grace attached to it from the Mother of God, through the Mother of God, by which, which we are strongly helped to keep hold of the realities and not let go of the realities. It's a hallmark of the modern church that it's let the rosary go, and some of you, I'm sure, have heard modern priests uh, scorning the rosary and making, making fun of it. No. And I'm afraid you may hear the same from society priests tomorrow or the day after. Please God know that that's, what, that's the way it's going at the moment. 
They're going the way of the Vatican, of what, they're going the way of Vatican II. Because the modern world, the world of flesh and the devil, have exerted their pull, and that's how it's going. Today, confirmation for three souls, maybe conditional, I'm not sure, for one or two of the adults, I'm not sure. In any case, a sacrament of firmness and strength. There's a special grace that each of the, if there are seven sacraments, it's because each of them gives something that the other six don't do. And the sacrament of confirmation makes a soldier, and all of many of you, if not most of you know, makes a soldier of Christ. Because we are in war. In real war. And it doesn't feel like war. It doesn't look like war. That's how deceptive it is. Bullets that whistle past my ear are much less dangerous than bullets don't whistle. If bullets don't whistle, I don't think I'm under fire. That's the case of many Catholics today. They're so in tune with the modern world that the modern world fires these pernicious bullets at them. They don't hear the bullets whining. They don't realize in what a war they are. All of us, my dear friends, during this confirmation, let us pray for the three souls receiving confirmation that they be ready, every one of them, one, two, and three, to go straight to their death and straight to a very unpleasant death if God calls them for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ and in His blessed mouth for the sake of the church. It's the grace of the accomplishment of the gospel of God. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit.